It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to be here. <laughs> but we got some toys to review. Actually, no, it's quite short, like eight. <laughs> well, let's get into this. And then I might have a little bit of surprise for you at the end, but let's just start with this review, shall we? This is the Collect Day Review. First of all, let's start with the, um, Hovage Source. The Hovage Source, I haven't seen in toy form. This is a really rare card for to find in any media in general. It's not really that used. It's late Cretaceous, meaning it's going to be overshadowed by a much bigger and better T-Rex. Like, yeah, it's okay to have T-Rex as long as you include other late Cretaceous carnivores like this one. Like, if I'm going to be honest, I think I like Roger saw some more, and that's saying a lot. Ah, did he just say R? He did. So, yeah, but overall, I like the osteoderms. It's a fun idea. It definitely is possible. I mean, I haven't really found anything that doesn't say it didn't have it. Although, there's no evidence that it did, so you never know. It might have osteoderms. The arms? Pretty perfect. Um, Horatosaurus generally have short arms that go on the back. They're like glorified sausages, if anything. They're, they're really just sausages. They, they have no function. They have no purpose. I'm surprised there's even fingers on it. But hey, that's where they are right now. So yeah. But the, um, I like the head work. That horn, that iconic horn that's always seen when it actually does appear in the media. It, it's true. And the face does look a little funky. But you kind of love it for that reason. Otherwise, the problem is I think it might be a little bit too round in the skull. And yeah, there might be a little bit too much spines. But I don't know, I really do enjoy this one. And then of course you can't forget the base, which is basically you just grab it for a bunch of leaves. So yeah, pretty good. Nice long legs. Probably not on a belly sword, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Especially considering that this is probably more accurate than Majunga Saurus, called Majunga Folas, with flipping ostrich legs. Speaking of ostriches. How about we get to something with a very long neck that you can't see on the camera because it's so long. Oh my god, this thing. This thing is as long as my finger. No, that's long. But anyways, um, yes, we should probably address the elephant in the room on this one. Its face, um, isn't exactly the best. I think the next one actually might have the best head out of all of them. But this one is not bad, especially with the fact we don't have any Amargus or Skulls uncovered. Now, I'm sure that we'll, we will find some eventually, but we just don't have any right now. And that's the thing. And that's the thing with Sauropods. You won't find the Skulls. The skull is very rare. Very hard to find. So, yeah, but this is a pretty interesting take on Argentinosaurus. There is no exact, um... Look, there isn't really an exact date, and then we does not really official yet because, well, we haven't really got too many fossils of it, so we don't. So accuracy wise, it it's okay. Everything will be okay until we find a specimen that will tell us what it looks like. But this one, mm, it's okay. Once again, more osteoderms. That's the thing I'm noticing with this collecting. I have to collect these is all of these bumps, all of these osteoderms. Osteoderms basically bony bumps. The red crest is a really nice touch, or I'm not sure I ever had it, but hey, you never know. But hey, you never know. Might be. It might happen. It might have it. I haven't done a video in so long, I'm getting kind of nervous. <laughs> And you start getting back into that not nervous stage. So yeah, but the neck is really nice. Nice and fleshy. The legs can be a little bit more fleshy. The legs can be a little bit more fleshy. But there's plenty of flesh on the body overall. So that's good. 
not particularly done well, but it's, I would give this one a 7 out of 10. Oh yeah, and also, I'm just a quiet right. outside, there's a lot of birds outside, there's a few good ones out there, so I don't want to put these out. So yeah, but this is a pretty good one. This is a good Argentina sauce. Simply because, well, Argentina sauce is rare, and we don't really have too much fossil material of that species. Speaking of things that I don't think, I mean, I don't think, but this is a ball powder. Yeah, I got introduced in this in Dinosaur World Mobile. Like you said, I'm not going to do gaming videos anymore. Now, if the demand is super high, then we'll go back into it. But if we do go back to gaming, I will just make a secondary channel for that. And I don't want to make a secondary channel. And two, um, let's just say until... The channel really start getting up and running. So yeah, but I'll still keep recording software just in case. That's a resident mockingbird. So you have a ball pocket, really nice. This is definitely the best design out of all of them for accuracy wise, just because the plating really good. The shoulder spikes are nice touch, and this is a nice touch too, because that's what most of these types of family members when you encounter and and notice sort have, is a more flat-like texture with the neck and shoulders being a little bit more armored and spiky, and that is the best head I've ever seen from a collector. The other two didn't look great, but this one, man, this one looks nice. If this was released a while ago and these then the other two released more recently then how did they mess up their head so bad <laughs> anyways i think this is a really good design interesting uh spikes or what are those on the shoulder you, you guys can see those right yeah right there that is so weird so yeah, but once again, more Aussie returns on the underbelly. Not sure what is their deal with doing that, but <laughs> hey, that's who we are right now. And of course, the hand looks perfect. If I get this one a 9 out of 10, really good design. I'll definitely be using this during decorations for challenges and stuff like that because it's just that fun and it's very well to design. Ball Pouch is definitely a species that really gets overlooked. It's a very overlooked species, very cool species at that. And it's just nice to see a nice Nona sword appear in a video for once. <laughs> Instead of being the same one in kind of source for the 20th time. But that's where we're at, concerning that that's all of them. Considering that, that is everything that we have for collect day. I'll probably do update videos on these. Guys, just because, you know, it's not common to see collect day, but to be fair, nothing is. So, if you guys enjoyed this one, um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord, it's finally open. We just opened it up so that people can learn about the science in the world, because we're going to be doing more trips, and so, so this is going to be really nice to help uh, get you guys eased into the adventure aspect. So again, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Until next time, see you later.